the trend nowadays is JavaScript, the best language. You can use JavaScript everywhere, right? So why we are still teaching JavaScript for web development? One of the questions which is getting asked a lot on this channel recently is, should I go for JavaScript or Python as my first language? I mean, they're not getting confused with other languages. The main confusion is between Python and JavaScript. It may be because I recently made a JavaScript series and now it is creating confusion. Uh, let me just try to answer that in this video. Now, if you know the answer and if you think, hey, language doesn't matter, I can start with any language, you can skip the video, it's not for you. This is only for those people who are still confused, should I go for Python or Java? Now, even before I start with that, I have some clarification to do. Before this, I have made a video, multiple videos on the top five programming languages. And in fact, in, the, in every year we do this, right? And then I have also made a video which should be your first language, okay? But then I was comparing all the other languages as well. This video is specifically between Python and JavaScript. Now, the thing is, every language is powerful. The only reason why we are using a programming language is to interact with the machine. Because ultimately, all the tasks will be done by the computers. And if you want to communicate with them, we have to use some language, right? Uh, it can be C, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP, or maybe C Sharp doesn't matter, all these languages are awesome. It's just that when you start with your first language, it's tricky actually because see, when you, when you learn a second language, when you, when you learn a third language, it is actually easier to do that because you know a language, you know the basic syntax, you know how programming language works, how thing works behind the scene. Now, when you learn a new language, it's just that, okay, so this is something new. Example, when I was learning uh, Java, uh, for the first time, I was knowing C and C++. So it was actually easier for me to learn Java. But then if you start with Java as a first language, it will be very confusing really because there are so many concepts to learn. And it's not like people are not doing it. There are a lot of people, they start with Java as their first language, right? Now coming back to Python and JavaScript, they both are awesome. They both are easy to start with. But should we start with JavaScript? Is, is that my actual question? Because Python is straightforward, right? Uh, in fact, if, if you ask me which should be your first language, my first preference will always be Python. Earlier it was C, now it is Python. Why not JavaScript? See, JavaScript is a great language. It has awesome feature. There are a lot of people, in fact, if you look at the trend nowadays, it's JavaScript, the best language. Uh, it's not like it's the best language in terms of syntax and features. It's the best language in terms of use cases. You can use JavaScript anywhere. Like you can do it for web development, AI, uh, blockchain, doesn't matter which field you pick up. Uh, most of the technologies have JavaScript support, right? Uh, in fact, I'm working on blockchain and most of the blockchain frameworks support JavaScript. So by default, you know, JavaScript becomes a de facto first language. But here's the problem. When you learn a language for the first time, you don't know about stuff, right? There's a lot of things happening behind the scene. And when you learn a language for the first time, you learn about variables, you learn, you learn about uh, if statement, for loops, and then arrays, and how do you store data behind the scene, what is happening behind the scene. JavaScript is great, but then there, it has a lot of loopholes or what do you say, sharp edges. It takes some time for experienced developer as well to learn JavaScript. In fact, when I was learning JavaScript, I was like, okay, this is great, but what is happening there? I don't know. Uh, even when I searched on Google, uh, there are different explanations for the same thing. Right? So JavaScript is great. The only problem is it's not a properly structured language. It's very powerful. There are a lot of features which behave differently, which a lot of people like. But learning JavaScript as a first language will be confusing if you don't know basic stuff, right? Uh, so when you learn a language for the first time, it takes some time for your brain to process all those information, uh, creating a structure for a language, right? Uh, because when you learn a second language, if you have experience in uh, any programming language, you know what I'm talking about, right? In your brain, you have all these things. Example, now if you want to learn a new language, let's say Rust or Go language, it will be easier because you know a lot of different concepts. You know what is variable, you know what is if statement. You just have to learn syntax and some new features particular to that particular language. Uh, so my suggestion is which should be your first language? Again, just to reiterate my previous video, it all depends upon what you want to achieve in your life. If you want to, if you are sure you want to get into uh, machine learning, AI, Python should be a good start. If you are sure you want to get into enterprise world and you can take some effort, some time to learn a language, Java should be a first step. 
if you want to learn a programming language in a proper way c is the best language to learn right because it teach you everything from syntax to a lot of different stuff javascript is where if you know that you want to be a web developer you want to get into the web world because see when you learn a javascript language and maybe i, I have to blame all the trainers or all the youtubers uh, or any course platform who is teaching javascript they teach javascript for web development that's what they do they do, do right i mean uh, if you look at the course content they will teach some basics of javascript and then they will start with web development uh, if you want to change something in dom i know that's a good use case and javascript was meant for front end but then now if you look at the trend for javascript you can use javascript everywhere right so why we are still teaching javascript for web development why can't we teach javascript for uh, in general example that's what i tried in my series right uh, it might be difficult to learn javascript as a language because what happens you know as a fresher as someone who is learning a programming language for the first time uh, we have this tendency of getting the output and we want to see some excitement right uh, i remember in my old days when i was learning uh, c for the first time my first language c language uh, something when i used to see the output and if you have to write five to six lines of code then you will see addition of two numbers then you have to uh, write uh, multiple lines of code to see if a number is uh, prime or not and that was weird, you know, uh, writing big line of code only for those things were not exciting. But if you look at JavaScript, you can basically use JavaScript for, uh, I mean, when you learn JavaScript, you can actually write HTML pages and you can do a lot of stuff, right? You can see mouse animations and everything in the first five tutorials. And that's what make people excited about JavaScript. But I think, I still think JavaScript should be your second language. First language should we go for C or Python? That should be a good option. Uh, but again, if you are sure, if you want to take efforts, JavaScript is also you can prefer. So basically the answer is depends upon your requirement. Uh, but if you are still confused, I would say start with Python. And in fact, we have all the playlists available. You can check the description area. I will paste the links for C playlist java javascript and python as well so that's it from this video i hope you got some ideas and see you in the next video bye, -bye.